Hi, I'm Glenn Jewis, and in this video, I want to show you how you can really speed up your workflow in Photoshop using something called droplets. Okay, so if you've used Photoshop for a while, you're more than likely aware, or will at least have heard of something called Actions. Actions in Photoshop basically allow us to record a series of steps and then be able to do them again at any time in the future. But instead of having to do the steps again, we can just click once on our play button. Now, just for the purpose of demonstration in this video here, what we're gonna do is have a bit of a refresher, first of all, on actions. And let's just say that uh, before I send images over to the publishers, I have to uh, perform a hue and saturation adjustment on them, where we um, colorize them and really boost up the reds. So I've got an image open on screen. What we'll do is we'll go to the window menu, Let's just go to Window Menu and we'll choose Actions to bring up the Actions panel. Now in here you can see there's two folders. Again, this is just a refresher here, two folders, one called Default Actions and then one that I've called Glyn's Actions. In the Default Actions, there's loads here that come already with Photoshop, regular tasks that you might want to perform. In my folder here called Glyn's Actions, there's two actions here that I perform regularly. So we're gonna create a new action here and we're gonna save it in my folder called Glyn's Actions. We'll click on the uh, new action icon here and we're gonna call it Boost Reds. Now when I click record, everything I do now, every step that I perform is now being recorded. So we'll say we need to go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation. This is the pretend task that I need to do a lot. We'll then click on colorize. We'll really change up the hue there and we'll boost the saturation as well. So it's really obvious that we've had to do something here. Then we'll click okay. And then I'm gonna click a, the stop button here. So now if we just open up this little thing, you can see all this here, all this information just here, this is listing all the steps that I've just done. So if I kind of rewind here, let's just imagine we've opened a new image here. All I would need to do to perform that is click on the action that we want to use and then click on the play button and bang, you can see it's been done. Now, it might be that you want to perform this on just one image, but then again, it might be that you have a whole folder of images that you want to use it for. Now, that's gonna be called something called batch processing, and we can do that within Photoshop by going to the File menu, choosing Automate, and then we have an option here called Batch. This brings up a dialog box where we can choose what action we wanna use, what folder we wanna perform it on, and then where we want to save it. We also, if you may be uh, someone who uses Bridge, you could then go to the Tools menu, Photoshop, and then again, we've got Batch. That'll then bring up the same dialog box back up in Photoshop. And that's all well and good, but the idea behind this is to really speed up our workflow. And if we're having to click on menus and go into different kind of dialog boxes, that's kind of adding more steps to the workflow. And it's kind of going against what we're trying to do here. So that's not really what we want to do. Now what we can do though, is use this thing called droplets that I mentioned. So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna to go to the file menu, and then we're gonna to go to automate, and we're gonna to go to the third option down called create droplet. Now this brings up a similar dialog box to that one that was for the batch processing, but the first option over on the left hand side here, if I just highlight that for you there, says save droplet in. Now this is where you want the droplet, the icon that we're gonna use, where do you want it to be? Now, my option is always to have them saved on the desktop. In fact, you can see just two of them just here. That one there and this one here, these are droplets. So I like to save them on my desktop. It's called Reds Boost and we'll click save. The next section down, it says play what action that you want to perform for this droplet. Well, it's in my Glyn's Actions folder and it's going to be the one called Boost Reds. And then we've got Destination. Now this is where you can either get Photoshop to do what I'm gonna do now, which is uh, open the images, perform the uh, hue and saturation change, save them and then close them in the same folder. But it might be that you have a load of original pictures, you need to perform a task to them, once it's actually done that, you want to save them in a different folder, so you've still got the originals there. You can also do that within here just by saying to choose a different folder name. So it's really, really handy, but I'm gonna leave this one here to save and close and click OK. 
Now, let's just dive over to my desktop again. And now we can see, if I just zoom in, over on the right hand side here, you can see there's this little icon. This is the droplet icon, and it's called Reds Boost. And the great thing about this is, I've also got a folder of images here. These are all the images that I need to now send over to the publishers, and there's quite a few in there. I don't need to open them individually. All, I ha all I'm gonna be able to do now is just grab the folder, drag it, and drop it, hence the name Droplet, onto the droplet icon and then let go. Now it kind of looks like nothing's really happening, but all those actions there are being, on those images are being performed in the background. And the great thing now is it allows you to carry on doing the more creative stuff. You might carry on doing some writing, you might go to your emails, you might need to go and find something on the internet, whatever, it doesn't matter. But all those kind of repetitive tasks that needed to be done, they're all being done for you. And just to show you that now, if I kind of just double click on this little folder here, you can see, all the images in there, let's just zoom in, have had that hue and saturation change done to them in super quick time. So you can see that there is droplets and how they can really speed up your workflow. Now, you can see that on my desktop here, I already had two uh, droplets on here already. Let's just zoom in to show you those. One called Loxley Color and one called Rocky Nook. Now the Loxley Color one, that's the printing lab that I use, and there's always something that I like to do to my images to get them to look perfect. The colors are always gonna look great anyway because of color calibration or what have you. But I always find that I need to boost the brightness in them by 20% before I send them to be printed. So when I've got a load of images maybe out of Lightroom in a folder, drag them onto the Loxley Color Droplet and then send them to be printed and they come back perfect. The Rocky Nook one here, the publishers, every single image that goes into my new book has to be converted to CMYK and also has to have a bit of a color profile change as well. And there's a lot of images, maybe 90 in each chapter. All I need to do, drag them onto that droplet it then does it for me in the background while I get on with the more important stuff. So there you go, that's droplets and how they can potentially save you a huge amount of time by speeding up your workflow and handing over the repetitive tasks to Photoshop for you to get on with the more creative stuff. Now don't forget, if you'd like the files I use in these videos so you can follow along step by step, just go and join my email group or my newsletter group and you'll get access to them and all the other previous tip sheets that I've actually sent out during the month as well to you. And if you haven't already, be sure to click on the subscribe button just to show you support for this channel Channel. And hey, if you could share the link to this YouTube channel with anybody else you think might like the free content I post out each week, I will love you forever. Well, you kind of know what I mean. Right, have a good one and I'll catch you next time.